when it comes to kingdom agenda. Then we see Ezekiel had to deal with people, the hordes. Mm -hmm. People that are in opposition to the word of God. You can't walk, you, you can't walk lightly when you're dealing with people, when you're dealing with nations, when you have the burden of the Lord. They say, walk lightly and carry a big stick. No, let them know you're coming. I'm coming and I'm representing another kingdom, an invisible kingdom. And I'm going to tell you the truth. God said, tell them they're going to hell. They're going down to the pit. They thought they were so beautiful and better than everybody else, but they ended up with the uncircumcised. And so you can't be so light-footed that you dance around the real issues when you have the burden of the Lord. you got to confront people face-to-face. -face. Sister Terry, it comes a time when you got to stop praying and start talking. I'm going to keep praying. You've been praying two years. Time to open up your mouth. Cry loud. Spare not. Comes a time when you got to say, okay, enough praying. I got to deal with this. Because now we have nations on the line. Now we got souls on the line. I got to deal with this or somebody going to be lost. I know that's Big Mama, but tell Big Mama you're going to hell if you don't get saved. I know that's your child. You, it's unfathomable that, that they will end up in hell. You can't even fathom that. But baby, you're going to hell if you don't get saved. How long are you going to keep praying about it and dancing around the issues instead of getting right up in their face and say, you need to get your life together. Time is running out. Time is running out. We say we love our families and we put all the responsibility on God. Lord, I'm in a seat. Save them, God. Say, God said, get off your knees and go confront them. But every time I mention Jesus, they don't want to hear. I don't care. I need five minutes That's of your time. You're going to hear this. Yes. Because your days are numbered. Yes. You're not promised to be here next year. And I am concerned about where you spend your eternity. Yes. Okay, yes. You're just praying like God just going to pull them in. Have you confronted them? I confront people in my family. I, I, I'm, my wife be like, baby, you're just bold. That's right. The righteous are as bold as a lion. They don't sit up there and be patty caking with the devil. That's your uncle going to hell. That's your sister going to hell. That's your grandmama going to hell. That's your child going to be in hell for eternity with no water, no gospel, no way out.